on. You've got to read the paper and know the code of GPG and R and X, and you got to know what the movie's about before you even go. Tex Ritter's gone and Disney's dead and the screen is filled with sex. said when he's little, Ace the poor, they'd stand around looking at each other, wondering which one he's going to eat first. <laughs> yeah, well, we ain't doing much better now. Mush on, we'll think of something. Oh, say, we missed much? Oh, practically nothing. Give me $3, please. Say, why don't you fill me in? Come on, you have to move this car. $3. Hey, sir, you think we ought to push it over against that building so these people can get in? Yeah, okay, come on, move us. Come on, y'all. Hey, what do you think we ought to do now, sir? We'll try Florida. Florida? Florida. Then what? Florida. We'll put it in gear. No, the picture. Oh, the picture. Yeah. Well, the dam breaks. And... Hey, he didn't pay. He didn't pay? Come, come on, we'll get him for you, sir. Don't you worry. Hey, squash it. We ain't checked out that popcorn stand yet. We just might catch some leg in there. That's a big tip for Come on. Diddle Brown and them just took off with a popcorn stand. Well, when they come out, we'll give them a reception. We'll get them before they get word to God. There's no way it's gonna break us up. Nothing yet. Good lockdown. Welcome to the Widowmaker's Hour. Tonight, Enoch's special guest is Diddle Brown. Now, let's talk about this thing like we had good sense. Hey, how come you didn't tell that to Eddie J? Before you put him in the hospital. I never know. He's one of your people. Diddle Brown, you got faces on both sides of your head. Yeah, well, I got to give you that. But in this case, that boy wasn't flying your colors. Getting inside your chest is tempting to me as an unlocked Corvette. All right, all right, all right, you can take us. You come prepared, but boy, you're going to know you've been in a fight. A shoot! Teacher's leg. But we gonna meet again. Not a back in that bitch. Well, you can. Now the thing will start. Hey, sir, you think we ought to push it over against that building so these people can get in? Sorry, I've checked with control, and it's impossible for you to use your father's sword. We're very sorry. Quite right. I understand. Your weapons must, of course, be very special. Ah, commission. Hi.
Chris, do you know the law's looking for Luke here? Uh, Homer, we're looking for something important. We're going to need your help, all right? Now, I don't know about that. Uh, now, Homer, do you remember when you was a little bitty boy, no longer than that, and you had the colic? And the only one you'd let take care of you, or feed you, or any of that, was old Uncle Jesse. Now, Uncle Jesse, I'm still grateful. But circumventing the law just don't seem right. Don't seem right. Uh, Homer, how many people you suppose know about that still your daddy's keeping in that silo over there on your place? Uh, we best go in the back where nobody will see us. We best. There never has been a recorded deed on this property. Yeah, our cousin Gaylord has got the original land grant to the place. Well, I reckon you know then about the back taxes due on it. The county takes over if they ain't paid by Monday noon. Then it goes up for public auction. Well, we know that. You know, it'd be my job if the boss was to find out I told you to do this. Why is that, Homer? Well, there's a supermarket chain, the Dixie King. Been real interested in this property for a long time. So old Boss Hogg told the sheriff not to post no notice about the public auction. So Boss would be the only one to bid on it. Yeah, also meaning he'll be able to pick it up for practically nothing. Uh-oh. Now that's trouble looking for a place to happen. Well, thanks a lot, Homer. Oh, incidentally, you know, I never was sure whether you and your daddy kept the still over in that silo or not. <laughs> Thank you.